The Danum Valley Conservation Area is the largest and one of the most pristine areas in Southeast Asia in terms of undisturbed tropical forests that we have. The Danum Valley Research Centre was established in 1986 and it lies on the edge of the Danum Valley Conservation Area. So a lot of what we know about Southeast Asian dipterocarp rainforest ecology actually comes from research and work that was done within the Danum Valley Conservation Area. I think up to the point of the field course, I never really properly considered or put into perspective what a uh, intact tropical forest was. I think this field course gave me a very experiential view of um, what terrestrial ecology, what tropical ecology specifically was. Just by being immersed in the tropical rainforest environment, I think being able to see a lot of new species, being able to touch and sort of interact with them was also a really special experience. So my very first activity was going what we call logging. Actually we were looking for like dead wood on the floor, flip it over or we would hammer the dead wood a little bit to see like what we can find. So this would be looking at insects and invertebrates of different trophic levels. So whether they are the ones that like feed on the detritus or the predators of these little insects. We were swinging around dragonfly nets, trying to catch the dragonflies and once we caught them, we would study them and for one, I'm not really an insect person but when I got there, I, I went with open mind and I found that it was really quite interesting like looking at the odonis because it really brought us to so many different kinds of environments which you rarely have in Singapore. The, the biggest takeaway in general from the whole trip is a greater appreciation for like the different habitats that are present in the region. Actually being there in person and going there with like a scientific mind to try and understand why things are how they are. It's uh, quite an eye-opening experience. I think every 20 minutes, we saw something super, super cool. We saw a different monkey, a different bird, a different insect that we've never seen before. The opportunity to even be there is hard to come by. I think one of my favourites was the experiment that we did on dung beetles. So we had muslin cloths and we put cow dung in them. And we tied it up like a dumpling. And then at the end of one day, we would go to the traps and we would bring back the collection of dung beetles that had fallen into the traps and go back to the lab and identify all of them. So I think it was really cool being able to see in real life how environmental factors could affect you know, things that are living in the forest. So we had this whiteboard in front of the rest house and I guess we split it into like mammals, birds, herbs and all the other cool insects or whatnot and it anyone could just write it in and because all of our groups were moving independently for our different activities so everyone would see different things and it was quite exciting to like collate and like oh my gosh this group saw that and yeah. one thing different about Dunham Valley is that it's such a big conservation area and it's far away from everything and remote so it still preserves a lot of biodiversity and in such high number or at least high enough that we can see so many different things every day and it helps that we have so many experience like teaching assistants and research assistants that point things out to us, explain to us what things are which makes everything so much more exciting. As an educator, you know, I am inspired to pass on the message about the animals that I'm working on and even if one out of a hundred students is inspired by you know, some of the lessons that I've given like, later on maybe pursue a career in taxonomy or conservation, you know, I feel that my efforts have been worth it. Dari sekecil-kecil serangga hingga sebesar-besar gajah, sekecil-kecil rumput, serendah-rendah rumput, hingga setinggi-tinggi di trokap yang kita ada sekarang ini, lebih daripada 100 meter, itu sangat istimewa bagi rakyat Malaysia. It's only what it is because it's a protected area and the people that are working there like respect the environment. That kind of knowledge comes with a lot of experience, a lot of effort, a lot of hard work. I think they're absolutely essential to the Dunham Valley area la, because wildlife is everywhere, biodiversity is incredible. You will never get another trip like this. La. Because it's really about teaching your phones and just being present in the natural environment. People born in that way, I think, because you go through very nice experiences or very tough experiences together. I feel like the people who went with me, my batchmates and the pros and the TAs, you know, it was people like that who made the trip so much more meaningful.